Namaste, dear students. As usual, first of all, I want to welcome you to our English virtual class of grade 6. Today also, I hope you are ready with your English textbook and exercise book and a pen or a pencil. Are you ready with them? Good. If some of you haven't taken out those things, please take them out. You have to take out your English textbook and exercise book and a pen or a pencil. Are you ready now? Good. Today, we are going to do some activities for our listening skill of Unit 8. In this unit, we did some comprehensive exercises. We learned to use dictionary that was alphabetical order. Then we learned the use of future tense for future actions. Okay, so today we are going to do some activities for our listening scale. And you know, listening, it's very interesting because after listening to the audio, we have to do some exercises, isn't it? It's very interesting. So are you ready for it? Good. If so, now you have to watch me and listen to me very carefully. Today, you will watch a short video of cartoon soap. Wow, very interesting. Do you love watching cartoon soap? Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay, I will show you today, okay? So first of all, I want to show you a picture and I want to ask you a few questions and you have to guess. Okay, are you ready? If so, I want to show you the picture. Please look at the picture. So what's written here? Please, you also read with me, okay? Let's start. Look at the picture and guess the answers to these questions. Once again, please read it. Look at the picture and guess the answers to these questions. So it means you have to look at this picture. So what do you see in the picture, dear students? Tell me once again. Yes, you are right. You can see there is a mother, okay? And there is a son, or you can say daughter, okay? And at the same time, what are they doing? See, in front of them, what is there? Yes, there is a television. And at the same time, they are watching something. So, for it, I want to ask you two questions. And the first question for you is, please read it. Who are these people? Now you have to guess. Who are these people? You can see they are sitting on the sofa and watching television. Okay? So you have to find out who are they. And another question. You just guess. Okay? And don't worry if your guess is wrong. And the next question for you is, okay, read it. What are they talking about? What do you guess they are talking about? Please make a guess for these two questions. And if your guess is wrong, don't worry. We are here to learn. We are here to listen to the audio about them. All right? Have you made a guess? Good. Now, if so, first of all, I want to show you a short video of a cartoon show. And which cartoon show is this one? You have to find out what do the characters in this cartoon show do. You just watch and enjoy. After this, we will listen to the audio and then we will do some activities. We will do some, yes, activities. So be ready to watch this video. Dear students, I hope you enjoyed watching this cartoon show. Do you like it? Yes, of course. And have you ever watched this type of cartoon show? Yes, it's really interesting. Okay. And here today, we are also going to listen to the audio between, you know, persons and you have, you have already made a guess and you have to find out who are they. So for it, now 
you have to listen to the audio. So what's written here? Now listen to the tape and find out if your guesses were correct. See, who were those people? What are they talking about? You know, questions. So you have to find out whether your guess right or wrong. So for it, I want to play this audio. You just listen to it very carefully and find out whether you are right or wrong. So listen to it very carefully. Grade 6, Unit 8. Vikas wants to watch the cartoon show on TV. His mother doesn't want him to watch TV before completing his homework. Here is a short conversation between them. May I watch the cartoon show, Mom? No, Vikas. You have to do your homework now. May I watch the show after I finish my homework? Then it will be dinner time. Can I have my dinner late today? No, sorry. What's the cartoon show you want to watch? Tom and Jerry. I see. After you have finished your homework, you can watch it till I call you for dinner. Dear students, I hope you might have got the answers of your guess. So can you tell me who were they? Oh yes, they were mother and son. And what were they talking about? Oh, you know, they were talking about cartoon show and maybe to watching for cartoon show and another one is for doing homework. So for this, again, we we'll listen to the audio many times and we'll do some activities, okay? So let's go towards the activities. So what's given here, you have to read first. Look at what's written here. Read the questions first. It means that I am going to play the audio. After listening to the audio, you have to do these things. The first thing you have to do is write whether the following sentences are true or false. One time you have already listened to the audio. Again, I will play the same audio. Okay. So first of all, you have to be familiar with the questions. So the first questions are writing true or false for you and then question answers. Okay. So first of all, read the question. So you have to write down true or false after listening to the audio. So sentence number first. Mother wants to see the news on TV. You have to find out whether it is true or false after listening to the audio. Just read the question. Sentences, okay? Mother wants to see the news on TV. So next. Next sentence we have is the boy wants to watch the cartoon show. Read it once again. The boy wants to watch the cartoon show. And another sentence we have, mother wants him to have his dinner first. Once again, please read it. You have to be very familiar so that it will be easier for you to write down whether the given sentences are true or false. So again, mother wants him to have his dinner first. And the last sentence we have, mother does not let him was the cartoon show. Once again, please, mother does not let him was the cartoon show. So these sentences are for true or false. Now again, we have another exercise, another activity you have to do after listening to the audio. So this activity is, please read with me, answer the following question. So there are some questions for you. The questions are, see, what does mother want him to do before watching the cartoon show? It looks like a long sentence, okay? So please read it two times more. What does mother want him to do before watching the cartoon show? Once again, what does mother want him to do before watching the cartoon show? This is the first question. Again, we have another question that is, what is the boy's name? You have to find out that boy's name here. So read the question once again. What is the boy's name? We have another question. That is, 
which cartoon show does the boy want to watch? So once again, please read it. Which cartoon show does the boy want to watch? You have to find out. You have to know the name of the cartoon show that the boy wants to watch in the audio. All right. And the last question we have is, is the boy allowed to watch the show? Once again, is the boy allowed to watch the show? It means whether his mother gives him to watch that cartoon show or not. You have to find out the answers of these questions. So are you familiar with the questions? Yes, very good. Now, <clears throat> if so, you have to listen to the audio very carefully, okay? Otherwise, it's really difficult to find the keywords, all right? So I want to, let's say, again, show you the sentences. Again, read it, please. Mother wants to see the news on TV. The boy wants to watch the cartoon show. Mother wants him to have his dinner first. Mother does not let him watch the cartoon show. So what do we have to do here? Yes, you are right. You have to write down true or false. So I am going to play you this audio. Listen to it very carefully and write down whether they are true or false. Okay? So listen and do together. Grade 6, Unit 8. Vikas wants to watch the cartoon show on TV. His mother doesn't want him to watch TV before completing his homework. Here is a short conversation between them. May I watch the cartoon show, Mom? No, Vikas. You have to do your homework now. May I watch the show after I finish my homework? Then it will be dinner time. Can I have my dinner late today? No, sorry. What's the cartoon show you want to watch? Tom and Jerry. I see. After you have finished your homework, you can watch it till I call you for dinner. Dear students, I hope you might have been able to write correctly whether the given sentences are true or false. Later on, surely we will check whether your answer is right or wrong. So before checking, we are going to do another exercise, and that is yes, question, answer. Look at, now again, you have to listen to the tape or audio again and answer the following questions. The questions you have already read, and once again, I want to show you the questions. Please read it once, and then I will play you the audio. Read it, please. What does mother want him to do before watching the cartoon show? The first question. Another question we have is, what is the boy's name? You have to find out the name of the boys in the audio. And another question we have is, which cartoon show does the boy want to watch? Here, you have to find out the name of the cartoon show. Okay? And the last question we have is, is the boy allowed to watch the show? You have to write down their answers. And here, while you are listening to the audio, at the same time, you have to write their answers also. Dear students, you have to be very careful. In this exercise, you should not write a long sentence. You should not write a complete sentence because listening to the audio and writing a complete answer is difficult, okay? So you have to find out only the main words, you know, only the key words, and you can write your answer in two words, three words, or four words, or sometimes it can be one word, okay? You should not write a complete sentence. Is that clear? Well, now I want to play it. You have to listen to it. And at the same time, you have to write your answers. Okay? So listen to the audio once again very carefully. Grade 6, Unit 8. Bikas wants to watch the cartoon show on TV. His mother doesn't want him to watch TV before completing his homework. 
Here is a short conversation between them. May I watch the cartoon show, Mom? No, because you have to do your homework now. May I watch the show after I finish my homework? Then it will be dinner time. Can I have my dinner late today? No, sorry. What's the cartoon show you want to watch? Tom and Jerry. I see. After you have finished your homework, you can watch it till I call you for dinner. Dear students, I hope you might have been able to write the answers correctly. So what do you think? It's very, I think, easy to understand because it is clearly said in the audio. Even if you have made a mistake, don't worry because we are going to check our answers. It means again you will get a chance to listen to the audio for checking your true or false exercise. Then after, again you will get a chance to listen to the audio to check your question answer. And at that time, while listening to the audio to check your answers, and if you find any mistake, then you can correct. And if you are right, then you can tick, okay? That's how we are going to check our exercise today. So are you ready? Well, if so, I want to play the audio again. So here, you have to listen to the audio to check whether your sentences are true or false, okay? So I am going to play this audio for checking true or false. And again, I will play for your question answer also. So listen and check your true or false only, not question answer, yes. So listen to it. Grade six, unit eight. Bikas wants to watch the cartoon show on TV. His mother doesn't want him to watch TV before completing his homework. Here is a short conversation between them. May I watch the cartoon show, Mom? No, because you have to do your homework now. May I watch the show after I finish my homework? Then it will be dinner time. Can I have my dinner late today? No, sorry. What's the cartoon show you want to watch? Tom and Jerry. I see. After you have finished your homework, you can watch it till I call you for dinner. Dear students, I hope you might have been able to correct your answers of true or false. So, so I want to show you whether you are right or wrong. I guess you might have already corrected if there were mistakes. Otherwise, you might have ticked your answers. And again, if you have confusion, don't worry. I am here to help you to check whether your exercise is right or wrong, whether you have written correctly, true or false. Okay, so for it. Number A, mother wants to see the news on TV. So what did you write there? Please tell me. I want to listen loudly. All of you tell me together. Oh, yes. Now your answer is surely false because the mother is not saying that she wants to watch any news on TV. Is that? Yes. So I want to clap for your right answer. Again, we have another statement or sentence that is the boy wants to watch the cartoon show. Now, what is it? Is it true or false? Please tell me. Oh, you have to tell me again loudly, all of it together. Yes, again, your answer is, what is it? Yes, your answer is true. Now you can tick your answers if you are right. And sometimes if you have made a mistake, don't worry. You can correct, you can write down T-R-U-E, true, okay? Now the third sentence we have is, mother wants him to have his dinner first. So what is its answer? True or false? Again, tell me. All of you together, please tell me. What is it? Is it true or false? 
Is it false or true? Oh, yes, you are right again. That is true, T-R-U-E, true, okay? Very good. Now, the last sentence for this exercise we have is, mother doesn't let him watch the cartoon show. What is it said in the audio? What did you write? Did you write true or false? Please tell me once again. What did you say? True or false? True or false? Who said true? Please raise your hand. Who said false? Please raise your hand. But answer should be one, okay? That is either true or false. And your answer should be, let's say, false. Because after doing homework, he can watch the cartoon show. It means his mother permits him to watch the cartoon show. And here it says, doesn't, no, see, allows him to watch the cartoon show. That's why this sentence is false. Is that clear, all of you? Very good. Now, we are going to check our another exercise. That is, yes. That is question answer. And for it also, I want to show you the questions. You have already written down your answers. And again, we are going to listen to the audio and we'll check whether our answers are right or wrong. So what was our first question? Yes, the first question, what does mother want him to do before watching the cartoon show? Another question, what is the boy's name? Another question, which cartoon show does the boy want to watch? Another question, is the boy allowed to watch the show? So these are the questions. Now listen to the audio once again and check your answers. And if you find any mistake, please correct them. All right? So listen to it very carefully. Grade 6, Unit 8. Bikas wants to watch the cartoon show on TV. His mother doesn't want him to watch TV before completing his homework. Here is a short conversation between them. May I watch the cartoon show, Mom? No, Bikas. You have to do your homework now. May I watch the show after I finish my homework? Then it will be dinner time. Can I have my dinner late today? No, sorry. What's the cartoon show you want to watch? Tom and Jerry. I see. After you have finished your homework, you can watch it till I call you for dinner. Dear students, I hope you might have checked your answers while listening to the audio correctly. Have you checked? Have you found any mistake? Oh, some of you found, some of you not. Now again, I am going to check. I am going to help you to check your answers of these questions, okay? So our first question, what does mother want him to do before watching the cartoon show? So what is your answer? Please, all of you tell me very loudly again. I want to listen from here. Yes, and you should not. See, don't forget, I have told you that you should not write a long, complete sentence. You can write even, if the answer is complete in one word, no problem. You can write one word. If you need two words, you can use two words. Or it can be three or four words. But you don't need to write a complete sentence in listening activity. All right. So your answer should be, say, check. Is this similar? Yes, to do his homework. So it means that if we want to write it in a complete sentence, the sentence becomes, mother wants him to do his homework before watching the cartoon show. So these are the main words. These are the key words. And if you write these words, of course, you, can, you are right. Or you can simply write, do his homework also, you can write down. Is that clear? So in listening activity, we should not write down a full, complete sentence. All right? So if you write this much, fine, perfect, you know. 
So are you right? Have you checked your answer? If you are right, very good. If you are not right, don't worry. Later on also, we will practice some listening exercises. Okay? So you can correct like this to do his homework or you can write down do his homework. Alright? Now another question we have is what is the boy's name? Simply you can write only one word for your answer. That is only boy's name. And it's very clearly said in the audio. And that name begins with the letter B, I think. So what is the name of the boy? Please all of you tell me again. A bit louder, please. Yes, you all are right for this one. And the name of the boy is Vikas. What is it? Yes, the name of the boy is Vikas. So here also, if you want to write the full sentence, complete sentence, it becomes the boy's name is Vikas. But in our listening activity, we should not write full sentence because it's really difficult for all to listen and to write complete sentence together. Do you know why? If we start writing a full sentence, then we will miss another information. So we cannot do another answer. Is that clear? So you are right if you write only because it is a perfect answer. Is that clear? Good. Now another question we have is which cartoon show does the boy want to watch? And I hope you might have made a guess when I showed you the video of a cartoon show and at the same time the name of the cartoon show is clearly said in the audio. And what's that? What's your answer? Please tell me again. Mm -hmm. I haven't listened to you. A bit loudly please. Oh yes, the name of the cartoon show is, what is it? Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. So your answer can be only Tom and Jerry. It is not necessary to write down the boy wants to watch the cartoon show Tom and Jerry. Not necessary to write down, okay? Only Tom and Jerry. Have you written? Good. And if you have mistake, don't worry. Please correct it. Have you done? So the last question we have and what is the question all of you please read is the boy allowed to watch the show is the boy allowed to watch the show so what is your answer yes or no what did you write please tell me loudly it's very simple did his mother allow him to watch the cartoon show or not in the audio what did you find? Oh, some of you yes, some of you no. Why? There should be the same answer. And that answer should be, let's say, yes or no. Again, you can tell me. What did you write? Yes or no? Oh, yes. In the audio, it said that after doing homework, after having dinner, you know, the boy can was the cartoon show. It means that the mother permits him to watch but before watching what he has to do he has to complete his homework and he has to have his dinner first and then only he can watch it means the boy is allowed to watch the show is that clear if some of you have written no then you have to correct with the answer y e s yes you know so have you done well done then. After this, do you know what are we going to do now? Obviously, I want to give you a home assignment. Are you enjoying doing home assignment? Do you like it? Yes, we have to do home assignment for our further practice. And here, as a follow-up activity, I have given you to write a paragraph on my favorite cartoon show. So what you have to do, write a paragraph on my favorite cartoon show. Which cartoon show you like to watch, whether English cartoon show or Nepali cartoon show or we have some, uh, let's say, Hindi cartoon show, okay? And in Nepali also, we have like Mina cartoon, Moomin, you know, such things. And in English, there are many. And in Hindi, there are many, okay? 
So which one do you like? You have to, you can begin. You can start your paragraph like this. My favorite cartoon show is, you can write down the name and who are the characters, what they do in the show and why do you like that cartoon show? You can write down these things. So you should not write very long, you know, around 75 to 90 words you can write down in your paragraph. Is that clear, dear students? Well, if so, I hope you might have got a clear idea how to do the listening activities. All right? At the same time, I hope you enjoyed watching this program. And at the same time, I hope you enjoyed doing listening activities. Now, I want to say this much for today. Don't forget to practice further. Have a good day, all of you. Goodbye.